and with the sides attached to the top already for the back. If you find your sides pull away, you can use tape like this to keep them in place. So first step is to transfer the center line. If you look closely at the tail end of the top, you'll see a small center line. Move that up to the uh, top of the siding and line that up with the same center line on the back. That'll help uh, the rest of the process go smoothly. So we're going to first do a dry fitting and we're going to line up the center lines and use tape to secure that. Uh, you can practice a technique which we'll use later which is apply the tape to the sides, pull up and then over and that gives a little bit of a clamp to the joint. Here I'm using my thumb to um, move the siding around the back where there's a little bit of an excess. Uh, try to work symmetrically. Here I'm reaching inside the sound hole and gently pushing out on the siding to get it to fit over the kerfing. You'll have to do that at least uh, two or three times on the various bouts. Here I'm reaching in again, popping it out. Um, so continue working your way towards the upper bout. Pull up and over. One of the purposes of this dry fit, well, two purposes. One is to make sure nothing's going to go wrong. Here we're reaching in inside again. Uh, nothing's going wrong and we can correct those problems if needed before it glues on, which makes it very messy. The other purpose is to practice that technique because we need to do the actual fitting and gluing relatively quickly because the wood glue, which we'll use later, has, only has an open time of uh, five or ten minutes. Uh, okay, so now we're pushing on the waist to make sure that uh, we can indeed pull it in. And now we're ready for the actual gluing and fitting. First, rip off a bunch of tape. You'll need a number of those strips, probably more than you saw there. And now apply glue to the area in that uh, kerfing zone and go all around the whole body and then wipe up the excess with your finger and when one finger gets uh, too much on it you can switch to another finger or wipe it off and you want like a meniscus worth of glue like you might imagine continue all the way around okay, we also apply some glue in between the siding and that neck block apply enough that it can drip down uh, until it reaches where the super glue portion is. Also some glue on the end of the neck block that will eventually attach to the back itself and some glue on the tail block uh, just by the where the kerfing will sit and that will attach to the kerfing. Now we fit the back, line up those center lines and you see some glue squeeze out. Uh, that's normal and good. Uh, that means you used enough. But uh, the best time to remove the squeeze out is right now. So wipe that up with a wet rag. Now adhere the tape securely to the side, pull up, and then over, and that will give a cl uh, slight clamp, enough of a clamp for our joint. And we'll wipe up some more. Uh, the tape frequency is um, as much as is needed. Usually about every four inches or so is good. There may be some regions where you'll need more than that. So I'm working between the left and right sides of the lower bout, trying to stay symmetric as I work my way up to the top. Now I'm reaching in to pop out that uh, left side of the lower bout. There it is. And wiping up up and over. Okay, the waist itself I'm going to do uh, later. I'm not going to try to secure that now because that'll just make the glue uh, dry more quickly. Uh, do the upper bout. And you may find your siding is a little long or a little short. On this one it's a little bit um, different on the top and the back. I'm finding the siding 
right up there at the neck block. It's slightly longer than it needs to be. And that could be corrected as long as it's within about an eighth of an inch, as we'll see in a bit. Okay, the glue is going uh, between the siding and the block, not between the siding and the back accelerator, to, so I don't have to clamp that, or if, just clamp it with your finger for a minute. Okay, this is the longitudinal clamp, if you need it. Uh, my particular, this particular guitar needed it, yours may not. That's just to get things to line up. Uh, this clamp you'll probably need, and this is to secure the waist, to get those uh, the siding to go in all the way on the waist. First some tape, and then a combination of rounded blocks, uh, or that's poplar plywood, bendable poplar plywood on the bottom of the frame. Uh, the clamp goes around both of those, and you can use two rounded blocks or uh, two sets of plywood, it doesn't matter what combination. And then clamp in until you see the siding all uh, f in far enough. You'll see that clamp tends to ride up over, so just push it down if it does. Okay, we're basically done with a few details. Uh, let's finish some gluing in the neck block area. Next we'll do some trimming and sanding.